For a week in April 2012, representatives from the Air Force, MITRE, and Charles River Analytics gathered at MITRE's Composable Operations Center Laboratory to test and demonstrate new intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, or ISR, capabilities being developed by the Air Force's C-2 Constellation Program. The exercises conducted during the week were part of C-2 Constellation's ongoing efforts to improve the command and control of ISR platforms and sensors. In conjunction with Charles River Analytics, MITRE recently developed the Deliberate and Dynamic ISR Management, or D2ISRM, capability. D2ISRM improves the effectiveness of ISR operations by automating the development of collection plans and enabling dynamic management of the ISR platforms during mission execution. It provides mission commanders with situational awareness of missions in progress, as well as the ability to service ad hoc ISR requests. A key component of D2ISRM is Perceptual Sensing and Information Displays, or PERSEID, developed by Charles River Analytics. PERSEID integrates deliberate and dynamic ISR management capabilities that enhance the command and control of ISR with decision support algorithms and with the capability to simultaneously display both deliberate and dynamic ISR management data. To evaluate the capabilities of D2ISRM, C2 Constellation invited the 102nd Air Operations Group from Cape Cod, Massachusetts to participate in a scenario-based exercise. The first phase of the exercise challenged an ISR operations plans team to create a collection plan with ISR assets such as RQ-4, Global Hawks, and MQ-9 Reapers. First, using the manual tools commonly in use, and then using the automated tools provided by D2 ISRM. An experienced Air Force collection manager was on hand to observe, quantify, and compare the results obtained using the manual tools and the D2 ISRM tools. The results showed that the D2 ISRM tools provided more than 10 times improvement in the time needed to complete the planning task. In one case, the team completed its collection plan in one hour using the D2 ISRM tools as compared with the typical time of 20 hours using the manual tools. The second phase of the exercise challenged the 102nd team to dynamically manage a set of ad hoc ISR requests. During the exercise, teams received ISR requests in chat messages that were automatically processed and passed to Perseid through the Air Ops Request Management Service. Perseid processed the requests and then presented the operators with collection options from which to select. Perseid rated each option with a gain-loss measurement that let the teams understand the net effects of each option. The team first conducted this dynamic ISR management phase using manual tools, then with the automated D2 ISRM tools. Using the automated tools reduced the request processing time from as long as 33 minutes per request to as quickly as 2 minutes per request. The Air Force will continue to evaluate D2 ISRM with the possibility of transitioning this capability to the warfighter.